Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here and... Bradley. Bradley. It is uh, June 7th, National Donut Day. <laughs> I was wearing donut pants earlier, okay? We did have a donut. We did. We had a donut. You gotta sometimes just live a little. Not a lot, but a little. Mm -hmm. But it's June 7th, um, 19, or 19? Wow. 2019. It is Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Friday evening at 7.03 p.m. Mm -hmm. And what is the weather like, Mr. Heidi? The weather in Crawfordville, Florida, it's light rain showers. Uh, the temperature right now is 81 degrees. Feels like 88. A high today of 82 degrees. There is a 90% chance of precipitation tonight. And we do have a flash flood watch for our region. Um, fortunately, where we're at, yeah. um, you know, we don't have much of a risk about being hit by a flash flood. There's uh, um, a flood pond behind us. There's a flood pond to the south of us. But, you know, so we're, we're in pretty good shape. We're in a higher point. Um, the wind is... Out of the southwest at six miles an hour. Sunrise was at 6.35 this morning and sunset is 8.37 tonight. What about tomorrow? Tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. Uh, high tomorrow, supposedly 83 degrees. A low of 74 and there is a 100% chance of precipitation. Yeah. Ooh. We got our. We're gonna put our arm floaties on. Uh -huh. We got a little pond going out here in the road, mm -hmm. and we got a bigger pond further up on the road. Mm -hmm. And then we got this drive-through pond, which is <laughs> a lot of fun because I asked Brad to hit it really fast, and yeah, no, it won't go into the. How he hits is not gonna go into the, uh, you know, the engine and stuff. Here's my donut pan. I want y'all to see my donut pants. Mm -hmm. There's my donut pants. Brad just. Brad doesn't have any donut pants. I have no donut pants. And then my husband surprised me with flowers today, which was very, very nice of him. They're mum, and they smell wonderful. Um, well, you know, and that's the thing I hate about... I mean, I love the way roses look, but they don't last very long. No, and I, I don't want you to buy roses because, yeah, they don't last very long. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I would rather have a mini... I really want a miniature rose bush. Um... Mm -hmm. And some African violet. But I haven't been, well, I haven't been looking for the miniature rose bushes. Um, you know, those were probably out around Mother's Day. Probably Valentine's Day, actually. I don't know. And I know Valentine's Day they were. They were god awful expensive. Yeah. And then, um, I haven't seen African violets around. Not, but I haven't really looked. Um, so I was gonna, Show some new artwork today, and um, my art studio is a major clusterfuck. That's as about as eloquent as I feel like putting it right now because it really is. Actually, I've seen it worse. I did pick it up some. Did you notice that? I did. Um, and no, it's not horrible. It's just, you know how, you, like I said, how you get busy working. You move stuff here, you move stuff there, and stuff. Sometimes that room can kind of become kind of a catch-all. And then I have to go in and hog it out. And, um, you know, we got this. Um, I told you guys about it. It's just, um, it's called an office keeper or something. And it's got three holes and it hangs on hooks. And it's got all these pockets in it that you can put all of, like, your envelopes and and, um, you know, office type stuff or bill paying stuff, you know, you could use it for gift, gift wrap. Some people use it for like ribbons or stuff like that. I mean, you use it for anything. It, it's similar to almost like, um, a shoe caddy that hangs up. If it's got the big long pockets. Um, I bought it sometime back. And, um, so... 
I've tried hanging it on the outside of the art studio door, and so the pockets lean like this, so it makes the doorway even more narrower. And, you know, if you're carrying something in your arms, you're trying to negotiate around. Um, so we end up hanging it on the back of the uh, door. Um, and, like I said, just sort some stuff out, rearrange some stuff, trying to make sure I don't, hurt my hernias and stuff um and that's part of, I was trying to like lift stuff and yeah. you know and I'm short I'm trying to put some stuff up high and um that kind of stuff but um I made some progress but my point being is I said I was going to show some new artwork but I don't really feel like I'm ready to because I still have some pieces I'm working on there's some pieces that are kind of, sort of, I think, maybe done, but I'm not totally sure. I have to look at it some more, so I'm going to wait. You know, maybe next Friday or, you know, you guys will know when, when, I, when I surprise you with, you know, and plus Brad's finishing up some birdhouses or uh, getting closer to it. He has one finished, um, and so then I'll be working on those and stuff. Plus big reason why is I'm not feeling real perky. Um, you know, I, I seem to be running a bit of a fever and, um, you know, it might just be um, being overly tired. I think I'm starting to fight another infection, which is okay because I have um, a, another refill on the stuff that she put me on the last time. Good. And uh, the, the macro did. And, um, so I have a feeling I'm fighting another infection. I've been, I've been symptomatic for a few days. Um, you know, no, I didn't say anything to you about it. Cause you know, if I ran to you every time I thought, you know, you probably get tired of hearing that, no, you no. know, <laughs> but, um, so I'm just going to come out here and sit for a while. And, um, Brad's watching battle bots. Well, we're both watching battle bots. Um, and um, probably just do some looming and stuff and just kind of chill out. Right, hon? Mm -hmm. So we went and picked up a very small order. I think it was like $30.65 $30 at, at Walmart. We need to get some more a bag of chicken that I cooked for the dogs and then some produce stuff to get some more strawberries and uh, uh, stuff. That's a two of the smallest heads of cabbage. And I Brad was and I said, What are those? And he goes, Well, they're cabbage. And I said, Well, I only wanted one. And uh then I thought of it and it's like they had said there was no substitution. Okay. So they must have been real small so they cited it yeah. that, you know. But um yeah. That was and then we took naps after we came home and ate our donut. Yep. And, um, well, then we just been puttering around the house. Oh, I did, you know, my peddler stuff. You and I were trying to go to sleep a little early last night, or at least I was, and I know it was after five. I don't even know why we try anymore. Five oh nine. Finally, I think to Brad, <laughs> you know, it's five. He's yeah. like, I know. Because you came in there, what, about two? One or two? About, it was one. And um, kind of wondered why you were in there so early. Because I missed you. Oh, God. But then I feel bad because if I'm sitting there watching Six Feet Under, I feel That's like okay. I'm ignoring you. That's okay. But then every time I look up, you're looking at me. Because you're pretty. And then I, why are you looking at me? Because you're pretty. You need to have your eyes checked. Nope. My eyes be good. Once we pay Uncle Sam. Huh? I don't want to talk about that. No. We have to start saving up to pay Uncle Sam. Are we happy about that? <clears throat> no. <laughs> we're not. Is but, anybody happy about that? <clears throat> no. They're not. And no, it's not because we made boo poo bucks. It's because his former employer did not take out the proper amount. Mm -hmm. That's all we're going to say about that. Yep. But, 
Yeah, that's about all we've done today. Just kind of, oh, Brad did grill out hamburgers. Uh, he grilled out all 12, and then uh, we froze the rest. Um, he did them a little underdone, so when you microwave them, they're not like hockey pucks. Tell them! You wanted to tell a story. Tell them the story about your mother and the, the hamburger she would make for your school lunches and all that. Shit. And we love his mother, so, mm -hmm. yeah. But I swear she could get 20 hamburgers out of a pound of hamburger because they were just these little tiny uh, hockey, pucks. hockey pucks and dad liked his meat cooked oh, almost almost to the point of incinerated well, so, you might have to rehydrate them. <laughs> yeah and uh, um, you know with with the little hockey pucks and uh, you know you can it's um the old, the old farts among us will remember the the uh, uh, where's the beef commercial about the the, oh, the windy where's yeah. the beef yeah you know about the hamburger patty hiding underneath the pickle slice and that's about the way it was and uh, so what mom would do is she would make extra hamburger patties whenever she grilled out and then she'd put together the hamburgers. And uh, she would freeze them for so I could take them to lunch. And so you got this hamburger patty or this. Oh, I thought she already assembled the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, she assembled them. You yeah. didn't tell them that. Okay, she assembled the whole thing. And then she froze them. And then she froze them. So frozen bread and frozen ketchup and mustard and all that other stuff. And, you know, like I said, the little, you know, you could have probably put. Uh, three of our hamburger patties on one slice of bread. <laughs> still yeah, not probably. Completely covered. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so now that has, that has scarred me for life. And so now when I make a hamburger patty, yeah. <laughs> how, how, how my... How big your hamburger patties were before you met me? Oh, I would get. I I they were at least half pound. Each patty was half pound each. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the same woman who um, cooked. And I and I don't mean any offense if any of you cooked this way. It's just I've never heard her. But she cooked the pork and vinegar. Yeah. Now, my great-grandmother believed that you could cure any spoilage of meat by soaking it or cooking it in vinegar. Yeah. yeah like if there was a green hot dog. Yeah, the pork roasts were all done, always done with vinegar. But imagine that. With a green hot dog, she would fish it out of the garbage because she lived below no, my grandmother, I, I and know. she would boil it in vinegar and eat it. Mm. Oh, well, remember that one time we went to the barbecue over at um, your uh, aunt and uncle's place when they were living there in Casper, and they lived way the hell and gone. Oh, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there was like a total of 16 people at this barbecue. And they mm -hmm. had like 20 cases of beer mm -hmm. and a pound of hamburger. Mm -hmm. And a pound of hamburger was supposed to feed 16 mm -hmm. people. And those hamburgers were about no, this big not around. Even, yeah. And and you could almost see through them. Yep. And I mean, but yeah, they had lots of beer. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. But yeah, it was... It was. <laughs> Yeah, I, I crazy Irma, my grandmother. They not not that grandmother. The other side of the family grandmother that I she, they called her crazy Irma for a reason. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid walking in the house. You know, they were still raising up kids because you know, like Johnny was only my uncle Johnny was only five years older. Than me. Right. 
Really? Yeah. But, and what she would cook is a great big thing of macaroni and just put butter on it. And that's what, I mean, that's what they would eat for a whole meal. Yeah. And I had never seen that. Yeah. 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 There's a friend of mine, Joe, that... Is that yeah. what his grandmother, uh, his his yeah. step-grandmother... Yeah. But he, he, I mean, but she made her own noodles from scratch. Oh, no, and, this yeah. was just elbow macaroni. Yeah, no, this was, yeah. And I had never seen yeah. that before. Yeah, Rachel made the best pasta. Did you eat her pasta? Was it good? Mm -hmm. Was it? It was very, very good. My great-grandmother and grandmother used to make the traditional German egg noodles and, yeah. Yeah. Very good, but we never ate. I guess they're called butter noodles, right? Or something. I don't know. I don't know. So, <laughs> since I haven't been feeling as hot as I wanted, I'm a little pissy today, right? A little grumpy. A little grumpy. Yeah. Just... And the dogs are freaking out because... Yeah. Of all the thunder yeah. and stuff, and Nixie really is freaking out. Yep. You know, so that means it can be a handful and stuff, and I, they're really scared and stuff. But then she doesn't want to listen, and she wants to crawl under everything. And then it may be like Mission Impossible to get her out of it. So, mm -hmm. but um, so we've got finally got gates and stuff kind of blocking off stuff, yeah. right, hun? But I'm going to just sit here and do some looming, you know, probably watch some more BattleBot and um, bug him. Bug no, Mr. Hi-Ho. Who's doing dishes? I can't. It doesn't matter to me. You like him doing dishes now, aren't mm, you? No. But you're not feeling well, so. Yeah. I'm in a little pain. Yeah. Well, you yeah. just keep your butt flat. I think I'm starting to have an event again. That's not cool. No. But we'll get it figured out. So, uh -huh. do you know what day my, I said my appointment was? Oh, uh, July 8th. July 8th? At what time? I don't know. Okay, we're probably going to have to call later yeah. on and find out. Yeah. All right. Well, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome, and I hope you have a great weekend. And don't let yourself be weird like Brad. You know, but some of us, we have to work for that level of proficiency. Really? Yep. Well, it just, come, it just seems to come so no, naturally. No, no, it, it takes a lot of work to be this good at it. Really? Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad.